Hello, everybody. Y'all come on in and get ready for this. I'm going to try to get it sent over to the land of faces where we can get everybody else on board as well. If you're in the Zoom room with me, set your chat to all panelists and attendees. And looks like Facebook is going to be participating as well. Bless God forever. And let's see. Sleep. Go live anyway. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Got a few people in here with me. Set your chat to all panelists and attendees. We'll get started right here in a second. Let's get all people that want to participate on board. Here we go. Now we've got it done. <laughs> okay. Jumpstart January. Week two will start on Monday the 13th. Hey, Helen. Hey, Teresa. It's good to have you with me. If you uh, do not know about Jumpstart January, Jumpstart January is a day. I mean, it's a, it's a challenge where we get to select our daily meal plans off of a list of 25 meal plans. These meal plans have been designed to uh, shred body weight and I want to uh, save as much time in this orientation for questions as possible. We have done several orientations like this already so uh, not to duplicate too much of or, or to, to, to say again what has already been said. Hey Brenda, glad you're with me. The Jumpstart January Week 1 challenge is only on day five and the contestants have lost over 150 pounds collectively already. Uh, we still have several more days, the weekend to go, and we're excited about it. Thought we would go live on Facebook and offer everybody in the land of faces an opportunity to get on board with us. So I'm glad you're here, and I'm super glad you're here with me in the Zoom room. Anybody that's pre-registered for this class will get a copy of this orientation in your uh, email shortly uh, after we are done with orientation. Uh, would like to uh, start by sharing my screen and showing you what a member will see when they go to sign up. So first we'll get out of there. Now, here at the, here is our Shibboleth website. Um, I'm a gold member. So uh, as a gold member, I will see some things maybe you don't see as a silver member. If you're a Shibboleth member, when you sign in, you'll look, it'll look something like this. Uh, I will try to show you momentarily what it's gonna look like if you're not a member. Uh, but in order for, to participate in the challenge, you must be a member. Uh, moving on, the challenge can be found under this orange tab that says challenge on the left-hand side of your screen on the computer, or it can be found in the little black tab that is at the upper left-hand corner of your phone or your tablet. So uh, once you find the, the challenge, the word challenge, you'll click on that. The group challenges will be listed and we'll scroll down to week two of the challenge. This is where you'll find your accept button. Now I've already accepted the challenge. If you'll notice this detox is uh, has two accept buttons. Your week two challenge should also have an accept button. You can see that I'm active in the week one challenge. Once you have accepted the week two challenge and paid your $10 starting fee, you will get an active tab in your uh, week two challenge once Monday gets here, okay? so. No accept button means that you did get in, okay? If you have an accept button, it means that you haven't yet registered. And come Monday, Sean, you'll be able to see your active status 
and uh, you'll be able to, to start journaling your, your weight loss within the challenge itself. However, however, once you've accepted the uh, and activated your uh, week two challenge, you will be able to see, I'm showing you now, these four buttons appear in your, uh, in your challenge group. Okay, I will go back one time and show you what I mean. If I look at week three of the challenge, you'll see that there are no buttons here to join, to, to click on, okay? Week two, as I, as I have already paid and, and joined the challenge, my buttons, which have the instructions, right? Right here is the rules for week two. Here's the Facebook group for week two. Here's the text alerts for week two. And here are the meal options for week two, okay? And when you pay the $10 registration fee, these buttons will pop up inside of the week. That's one way to determine whether or not you're signed up or not, okay? Um, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump to the uh, challenge rules and let's make them bigger where you can see them and where I can see them. You're not the only one that probably cannot see them. All right, Jumpstart January Challenge. This challenge will be starting on January the 13th. When you wake up, you will be in the challenge. And uh, it will be a uh, seven day weight loss challenge. You may lose up to 10 pounds, even, even more. We actually have somebody that has lost more than 10 pounds in five days already in, their, in, in our week one. So the challenge rules are for members of Shibboleth and pay challenge contestants only. Uh, it will be uh, running until January the 19th at midnight. You'll actually be completing your challenge and weighing in uh, on Monday the 20th. Uh, you may love it so much you wanna register for week three, we hope you do. I believe that uh, our weight loss results are common. Uh, up to 10 pounds is 10 pounds is a great goal for one week or your first week. Uh, we will love on you and we will help you along the way. Join and see. Each challenge must be accepted and paid for in the group challenge section of the Shibboleth website. And the Shibboleth website, Loose 10 for 10, is almost ready. So you non-members, we almost have a website ready for you to participate. Each participant will be granted access to the Jumpstart Challenge Facebook page for the duration of the challenge once your payment has been verified. Let me make this clear. When you, when you go to, when you jump to the Facebook group and ask for entrance into that challenge group, there's a few questions that you'll need to answer. They're very simple. Uh, once you answer those, we will grant you access to the group. This challenge has no holidays. However, I provided a way to enjoy one holiday meal per week. The details are to follow. I'll explain uh, shortly. However, I really don't want you to have a holiday these seven days. You can do anything for seven days, and one of the things you can do is not have a holiday. I will help you with this as well. This challenge requires no exercise. However, if you walk five miles or more, you earn the ability to have a small apple or a small orange as a snack. Now, some of us know that there's no such thing as a small, um, Orange, oranges typically are bigger than others. You don't have to have a cutie. Somebody said, does a small orange mean the little cutie or the mandarin orange? No, you don't. It's, it's any orange. If you walk five miles, you earn an orange and you may eat it and enjoy it. Uh, however, it may hinder your results slightly. Sometimes the sugars in those oranges and apples actually work against us, even though we put in the work of walking those five miles. This challenge allows no snacks unless they are earned as mentioned above, okay? <clears throat> the snack being the apple or the orange, make, making that clear. All participants must first take a body fat assessment to determine their lean body weight. If you have had a body fat assessment and you know your lean body weight, you do not have to take another body fat assessment every week, just to clarify, okay? These are the rules. You will be provided with 25 daily meal options. Each daily option is designed to deliver adequate nutrients for your sustained health while keeping the body in a calorie deficit and leading you to and or sustained and efficient fat burning. If you've ever done Shibboleth, you know that efficient fat burning happens after two perfect days. So if you start your challenge in EFB, 
we will accentuate that efficient fat burning. If you have not reached EFB yet when you start the challenge, we will be getting uh, helping you to get into EFB as we move forward uh, day by day. Uh, you'll consume water ounces equal to your lean body weight daily. So I haven't had too many complaints except by the, by the men, basically, that have been doing the challenge that this requirement is too much water. If you struggle with water, uh, all you'll need to do is get with me privately or in the, the challenge group to state your case and I will work with you on your water uh, requirements. You'll be consuming food daily during your chosen eating window. We, we have designated uh, eating windows of six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 hours. You, you select these eating windows based on what your day uh, will allow, or you select an eating window that will deliver the self-discipline you need to get the results you desire. Valerie, if you're wanting to lose up to 10 pounds in 10 days, you'll listen to my suggestions or you'll ask me for best practices. However, if you look at your schedule and your schedule says, uh, I wake up at 5 a.m. and I'm in bed by 10, then you're gonna wanna pick eating windows that, that coincide with your uh, awake time and that also coincide with your, um, I'm sorry, that also coincide with your uh, abilities to eat during the day, okay? Like if, you, if you're at work and you can eat, we'll figure all that stuff out as well. You have the option on several days to start or finish a day with a combination. And once you choose your daily meal plan, you may select one of the combination options mentioned, okay? Uh, each daily meal plan has a, uh, a limited portion that's described in said day, and I'll show you that now. So that's the rules for the challenge, and the uh, meal options for the challenge are here. Okay, meal options for the challenges, uh, each day you will select one daily meal option. If you choose up day, which is the UMP, the Beverly Ultimate Muscle Protein Day, we just call it up, you'll be consuming one of the two options in this day. One of the options is you get two scoops of up three times a day, or you get one scoop of up with one bio coffee or one coca ringa three times a day. So this is actually two options. Okay, I could have put this in a different, I could have said up day number one, up day number two, but instead we give you a little bit of liberty on up day to choose whether or not you're gonna do option one or two. When we declare our day in the Facebook group, you, you all, you'll actually see, I'll show you this, but as we declare our day, we select which one of these we're going to do, okay? I'm on a quest, you either eat three quest bars, so here's another meal, a daily meal option that has two options, okay? I'm on a quest day, has three quest bars and that's it. You eat three quest bars and that's it. Or you have th uh, two quest bars, and then you may have a seven plus two, a one plus two, or a four plus two. Now, as a Shibboleth member, you should know what your seven and one and four categories stand for, as well as the one, uh, the the category twos. Um, and we will help you find the best ones, fours, and sevens available and the best twos available if you would like. Also, we have a bread, a proof bread list that's available once you join the challenge and get over into the, um, the Facebook group. I'll show you that as well. The PB and J day is one to two tablespoons of nuts and more, uh, um, it's called um, spreadable uh, protein peanut butter. It's actually nut butter. Whether it's peanut butter or, or, or any other high protein nut butter, I will allow a few other uh, nut butters, but this is the best one for the PB&J day. One to two tablespoons of nuts and more on approved wrap, or you could use two slices of category two bread from the approved bread list, okay? Um, the hardcore day, this day has been producing extremely fast weight loss results for my challengers. 
you simply have uh, four to six ounces of either fish or chicken breast with your favorite uh, category two veggie, one half to one cup, okay? You have that three times a day. That's why it's hardcore. The Mighty Muffin Day has two options. You may have three Mighty Muffins in one day, or you may have two Mighty Muffins with a seven plus two, or a one plus two, or a four plus two. And we also have uh, your portions for those common, uh, those categories listed in this day. Um, line number two has tuna up or chicken out. Now the tuna up or chicken out day has several recipes that are available online. The tuna salad recipe, the Debbie's So Good Chicken Salad recipe, Cleo's Chicken Salad recipe, or the Cream Cheese Ranch Chicken Salad recipe that's online. You may have that on category two bread or a bed of lettuce twice a day. The, the third meal of that day should be a one plus two or a seven plus two. The excellent day, okay, the excellent day, this day is so good. Listen, just for my challengers uh, attention at the moment, what I wanna let you guys know right this very second is brown bread is available for your purchase online at the Shibola store, okay? Brown bread is available for your purchase right now on the Shibola store. So if you want, so do we choose any of these? I'm a little confused. Jessica, I'm, I'm gonna get to that. Um, you choose the day you want to perform for that day, okay? So if you, if on Monday, if you choose excellent, you pick one of these options and stick to it for that day. You don't pick a little bit off this one and a little bit off this one and a little bit off this one, okay? Um, let me, let me, let me stick to this for a minute. Also, let me show you one more thing. This is a, this is a awesome little thing. No, let's see these. There we go. Boom. I'm gonna let that download while I'm showing you. Over here on the HealthWise Day, let me let me stick to the excellent day. The excellent day has two to four egg whites with two slices of brown bread three times a day. Okay. You have an option to put one slice of fat-free cheese with this day. Or you could instead, there's a lot of people that say, hey, I don't do egg whites. So we made an excellent day with two slices of brown bread three times a day and two whole eggs. Now the brown bread for the excellent day is the Shibboleth high protein brown bread. If you do decide to not purchase the Shibboleth high protein brown bread or, here's the or, or there is none for you to purchase and you wanna do the excellent day, you may use one slice of approved bread from the approved bread list one slice of approved bread from the approved bread list, or you may use a tortilla. I don't know that you wanna have fried eggs in a tortilla, but if you do, there you go. Um, the HealthWise Day has been a popular day for people that do choose to have a holiday. Uh, you may have two health uh, two times a day, I'm sorry. You may have one HealthWise hot chocolate with a bio coffee or one to two packages of HealthWise oatmeal. So you get, uh, this is a this is HealthWise Day, and for your third meal, you have a pre-cooked, prepared uh, HealthWise microwave meal. Okay, these are shelf-stable meals that you purchase. They go anywhere with you. They that you don't have to to refrigerate them at all. Just a few, well, maybe a minute and a half in the microwave with one corner of it torn up slightly. It's a very good, uh, uh, healthy, nutritious meal definitely set you up for weight loss this day what is a weight shredding day the hemp day probably one of my uh, most utilized days not personally but my challengers utilize this day a lot to uh, jump start their weight loss after they choose to have a hollow meal one third of a hemp bar twice a day and then for the third meal, you would have a category two salad and add two to three tablespoons of either hemp flakes or hemp hearts, okay? Hemp day is a popular day. Dairy Queen day is my favorite day this week. This past week, it's been my favorite day. Uh, I've been having one cup of Oikos triple zero yogurt with uh, two tablespoons of 
hemp, uh, hemp flakes with cranberries. It's an excellent weight loss day, and I've been having that three times a day. So I meant to edit this, okay? This should actually say times two or, it, it look right here, where it says, um, right here, or two times with below option on the quest day. The Dairy Queen day is actually, you're, you can use it times three or times two with the option below. So you can do this three times a day or you can have a one plus two or seven plus two with this day. Some of you guys like low fat cottage cheese with a palm full of berries, go for it. This is an excellent weight loss day. The get unstuffed day, okay? Get unstuffed is an unstuffed cabbage roll recipe. You have that three times a day with the correct portions that are available there. Or you have it twice a day and you get to choose a seven plus two or a one plus two of your choosing, okay? The perfect pairing day has been used by many people. The perfect pairing day is a half of a grapefruit or one small apple or one cup of your bear, uh, uh, berries, the berry of your choice, okay? And then you have three to six ounces of egg whites with that stuff. Now, do I have to take a bite of egg whites and a bite of grapefruit? No, you can eat your egg whites and then you can have your grapefruit or you can have your grapefruit and then your egg whites, whichever way you like it best. Um, and then you choose a seven plus two of your choice or a one plus two of your choice for uh, your third uh, eating episode of the day. The oatmeal pie day, is the Finiflex oatmeal pie it is not contrary to popular belief and uh, a little Debbie oatmeal pie. You have a half of a Finiflex oatmeal pie and, and you have one scoop of Beverly Up protein with it. Let me pull my chat up so I can see what, what's being asked. <laughs> oh, somebody's laughing at me. Imagine that. Um, the oatmeal pie day has been uh, widely selected uh, by our members uh, as well. It tastes really good and it's and it produces great results as well, as long as you can stick to the portion rules that are provided here. So half an oatmeal pie with one scoop of the Beverly protein powder, or you get one package of HealthWise hot chocolate. If you have a HealthWise hot chocolate canister, that's one scoop, I believe. I believe it's one scoop. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Is the uh, canister one scoop or two scoops per portion? If it's two scoops per portion, it's two scoops. I'm not, it's two scoops. I'm sorry. So I, I, that's what I meant. So two scoops of HealthWise hot chocolate from the canister with an oatmeal pie or one package. The Gut Buster Day, y'all know what Gut Busters are, right? Gut Busters are crystal burgers. Okay, well, Leanne's mock crystal uh, recipe, it's actually the mock crystal recipe online will produce excellent weight loss results if you follow the uh, recipe exactly and portion exactly, okay? So you can either eat it with a tortilla or uh, approved category two vegetables and you get a seven plus two or a one plus two for your third option. Now the it's so chilly day, we've had a couple of people that have had poor results on the it's so chilly day, thinking about removing it from the list However, we've had many people that have done well with this day. The cream cheese chicken chili recipe number two from the website eaten three times a day in the proper portion should result in excellent weight loss. You may have it twice a day with a seven plus two or a one plus two, but keep in mind, it does have beans. And sometimes people lose weight with beans differently than people than other people. Some people lose weight well with beans, some people do not lose weight well with beans. Um, that's the It's So Chilly Day. It's great for cold days, okay? The Hemp Salad Day, another fat shredding um, day. This day you get a large bowl, you put your favorite category two vegetables in it, and you uh, add six to eight heaping tablespoons of either hemp flakes or hemp hearts to that large salad, you may use MCT dressing, uh, two meal servings of MCT dressing on the whole salad, stir it up real good where all that hemp product sticks to your leaves, or if you're like me, I would take two to three fresh lemons and squeeze it all over my salad, dump my hemp products on there, and you're talking about the 
the benefits of the, the lemon and the citrus, uh, the hemp products and all that fiber in those category twos, this is going to be an excellent fat loss day, hemp salad day. You eat that salad over the course of your day. If you eat it all, that's fine. If you don't eat it all, that's fine. Zaxby's day is another day that will uh, that will require some brown bread, okay? So you have two slices of brown bread with two uh, tablespoons of any approved nut butter. So if you want your favorite peanut butter, the one you got at home, two tablespoons of that on two slices of the Shibola high protein brown bread, and then you go to Zaxby's, okay? You can go to Zaxby's for lunch or dinner, but that's the Zaxby's day, okay? All Cracked Up Day is another day designed around recipes, okay? So recipe, slow cooker, cracked chicken, and you put it on an approved tortilla or you eat it with category two vegetables. And you also, on this day, you get to use an approved shake or a meal replacement bar so long as it has a rating of negative two or a negative three on the weight loss meter. The all cracked up day is good for the person who really just wants to drink breakfast. Okay, a lot of people do. A lot of people have no appetite in the morning. They just soon drink their breakfast and get it over with. That's an option on all cracked up day. So um, if that's you, this may be an option that you want to use. The Power Up Day uses Power Crunch Bars. Power Crunch Bars are pretty universal. You can find them all over the place. Have three cr uh, Power Crunch Bars for a booty burning day, uh, or you may have some whole food on this day as well. You can have two Power Crunch Bars for the eating episode of your choice on the third eating episode. You would have a seven, two, one, two, or a four plus two option uh, to choose from. The All-American Day is a fun day. Um, people like to have uh, some variety sometimes on the challenge, so we developed the All-American Day for that. You can have two eggs with two slices of brown bread as meal number one. Meal number two, one to two Hebrew National 96% uh, lean, percent lean beef franks or ballpark all-white turkey franks with one tortilla or, or category two veggies of your choice. And for the third episode, you would have four to five ounces of category one lean ground meat on a category two bread from the bread choice, or you could have category two ve veggies with that. The All-American Day is a fun day that kind of lets you let your hair down a little bit during the challenge. Chick-fil-A Day has been one of my favorite days over the course of my challenges. Eight grilled or fried nuggets from Chick-fil-A one time a day. And then you could have uh, an approved shake or an approved meal replacement bar one time and a seven plus two one time. So this day is very doable if a Chick-fil-A is something that you like to have on your lunch break or for dinner with the family. The Wendy's Chili Day is uh, one good way to eradicate the body of excess body fat. Have this day two Wendy's Chilies over the course of the day. Listen, I would allow if you want to, I would allow you to have Wendy's chili with a side salad three times a day on the on the challenge. Or you could have Wendy's chili twice a day. And then the third eating episode, you either have two to four egg whites with the Shibola approved brown bread, or you have two whole eggs with two slices of brown bread. I'll, I'll take questions shortly, okay? The rapid weight loss is a day anybody can do. All you need is a wrap and some lunch meat. Two to five ounces of category one deli meat and a, an approved wrap from the from the bread list and you're well on your way. This day allows you a seven, two, one, two or the four plus two option. So long as you follow these portion uh, portions that I've uh, allotted for you, you should be able to lose weight effective, efficiently, effectively and really fast, okay? The bar none day requires you to have Shibboleth approved bars, uh, Shibboleth bars or Shibboleth wafers. These are found on our online store. The bar none day is also a day that will provide excellent weight loss. On the, you can have that three times a day or two times a day with a seven, two, one, two, or a four plus two combination. Now, I know some people may be going, Jason, I don't really understand combinations yet. Can you help me with that? I will. I'll help you with that. No problem.
the let's go out day is the last day and I'm gonna describe it briefly. You can eat out three times a day, you can eat out two times a day, or you can eat out one time a day. If you are only eating out one or two times a day, I want you to stick to the seven plus two and one plus two regimen and use these portions here, three, three to five ounces and a half a uh, cup up to one cup of category two. If you do choose to go out, I ask that you do your best to have only two to four ounces of category four and up to one cup of category two vegetables when you go out. Now, that's gonna be difficult without um, having some food scales with you or some, something like that. So use the two hand rule, okay? The two hand rule means your category four goes under one hand, no thicker than the thickest part of your hand. The category two, to the best of your ability, would go under the other hand, no thicker than the thickest part of your hand. And then the way to make sure you're not overeating your category four is I would cut at least a third of what fit under my hand off or away and not eat that while I'm on the challenge. If I'm on the results, I got to put in the work. That is part of the work. Now listen, freebies are allowed on the challenge. Can y'all see that? Let me see if I can get that a little bigger. Freebies are allowed on the challenge. You can have baby carrots. You can have up to one cup of baby carrots a day, up to one cup of celery a day. You may have up to five pickles a day. So if you like big giant pickles, that's a good thing. If you like little bitty pickles, it's not a good thing. I'm trying to help you with your weight loss results. If you choose pickles, sodium may cause you to hold water. Your weight loss results may vary due to pickle intake. <laughs> Egg whites. You may have unlimited egg whites. Ask your, your partner, your significant other, your wife, children, uh, parents, if you're doing this, ask them if it's okay for you to eat unlimited egg whites before you do that, please. Um, coworkers, you may need to ask your coworkers. Cucumbers, you can have up to one cup of cucumbers a day as freebies. You may have up to one cup of peppers a day as freebies. You may have up to three brand crisp breads a day as freebies. Now, check this out. Um, some people may want to eat all of that. Some people may only want to eat a couple of those. Some people may want to choose none of those. Those are the only freebies that are, I'm going to allow on the challenge per my rules and regulations. If you are allergic to or do not like those or those won't work for you, you may request other freebies directly to me and I may allow or disallow them at any time during the challenge. Don't be afraid to ask. Extra allowance. I'll allow you to have an approved HealthWise hot chocolate, one HealthWise soup, one Coca Ringa, one Bio Coffee, or check it out, up to 50 calories of sugar-free Jello a day. Not and, you may not have this and this and this and this and this. It's an or thing. So you can have any of those or the other or none at all. Extras are extra after all. And you only get um, one a day. Beverages, you may have water, obviously. You may have coffee, uh, preferably black, spark up to three per day, C Celsius up to three per day. You may have unsweetened tea, green tea or uh, regular tea. You may have diet soda and you may have crystal light, okay? I'm allowing those things. Condiments are limited to 15 calories only per meal. If you're using Chabot's approved condiments, 15 calories should be enough. It's a challenge after all. You can do anything for seven days, says me. You may have up to 15 calories of approved coffee creamer one time a day. So if you like to alter coffee with creamer, you may use 15 calories of approved Shibboleth, uh, I'm sorry, a Shibboleth approved coffee creamer one time a day, okay? Now here's the rules. Let me get this bigger. I think I can get it bigger one time and it'll work. Boom, yes, here's the rules for you guys when you choose to have a hollow meal. Okay. First off, you mark your holiday, your, 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 the day where you have the holiday meal as a holiday in your online journal. Okay. On the preceding day or the day after, you must eat 
a highlighted day from the meal plan. Now I'm gonna go back and show you those in a second. For better results, you would follow a six hour eating window and enter the following or preceding day as intermittent fasting in your journal. If you don't know what that is, you will once you join the challenge because in your journal daily selection, it will give you the option to select intermittent fasting or IMF. And for best results, the day before you choose to have a hollow meal, the, the day you, or the day you choose to have a hollow meal and the day after you would choose a highlighted day for both of those days okay for both of those days now let me let me get this thing to shrink back to normal size for a minute there we go this the the the, the upper option of the bar none day would be a one of the days that i'm that i'm describing the, the highlighted yellow power crunch three times a day. The hemp salad day is a day like I'm describing. The hemp bar day, the health wise day, the mighty muffin day, and either option of the ump day. Also, look here, the quest bar day. So if you mess up or you choose to have a hollow meal while you're doing the holiday, uh, while you're doing the challenge, I'm sorry, you would have to eat one of those days in order to get back to where you could possibly actually get the advertised results, okay? Now, do you have to do that? No, you don't have to. But it is, it is the, it's for best results, that's what you choose, okay? Now, let me show you a little bit about these recipes, okay? I'm gonna get logged in over here to my little challenge website and see if I can show you here because I have them all together here. Come on, let me log in, darling. Do, do, do. Here I am. So over here in the food, the downloadables, you'll see Debbie's So Good Chicken Salad, cream cheese chicken chili, cream cheese ranch chicken, unstuffed cabbage rolls, slow cooker cracked chicken, tuna salad, Cleo's homemade chicken salad, and Leanne's mock chicken salad. So I'm gonna get out of there and I'm gonna show you this. So Leanne's mock chicken salad has some ingredients. All of these ingredients you would need to go and purchase from the store or have at your house in order to choose the Leanne's mock, uh, the, the gut buster day. Does that make sense? Okay, if you chose the Cleo's homemade chicken salad day in the uh, chicken out day, it's so that's the tuna up or chicken out day, you would need to have these ingredients in order to be successful with that day. Here's your, here's the serving size, okay? Same thing goes for the tuna salad. You would need to have these ingredients in order to be successful, okay? Same thing goes for, what, I can't get to it with my image there. There it is. Here's slow cooker cracked chicken. These are all recipes off the website, okay? So you would need to have one packet of ranch dressing, you would need to have a block of fat-free cheese. You would need to have some approved uh, bacon bits, some bacon crumbles, and some jalapenos. Obviously, you would also need to have some chicken, right? It's gonna tell you how much chicken there. Um, and you make it in the uh, slow cooker. You would need to have some uh, these ingredients for the cream cheese ranch chicken, okay? All these chicken breast, fat-free cream cheese, ranch dressing mix, and bacon bits for it as well. So let me get out of here. This is this is it. This is the challenge. This is the orientation for the challenge. And I hope you feel like joining. Let me show you one more thing before I turn you loose. I know you may be busy today. Group challenges. So in order to find out your lean body weight, simply go here to where it says Shibboleth, it's a secret, and scroll down until you see your free body fat assessment. Once you take the assessment, you will get a body fat, a, a, a lean body number from your assessment. Um, if you're not a member and you're thinking about doing the, or the challenge, simply uh, go to www.myshibboleth.com and click the assessment tab here and you'll be able to take a body fat assessment 
before you join Shibola to, to initiate your uh, challenge. Now, I would love to help anybody lose the weight, okay, that they want to lose. Starting with a challenge is a great way to, to jumpstart your weight loss. When I started on Monday the 6th, I weighed 246.2 pounds. As of this morning, 8.6 pounds later, I weigh 237.6 pounds. So I'm, I'm excited. I, just a couple more ounces and a couple more pounds and one more pound and I will have lost my 10 pounds for the week. I am absolutely thrilled with my results and I would love to help you get similar results. So is there any questions that I can cover now before I let you digest this over the next uh, couple of uh, hours? Any questions? my chat up. Don't see any questions in the chat. No questions on Facebook. All right. I will leave you to it. Y'all have a great day. I hope to see you in the challenge accepted tab.